Hi, we are parked right outside of a dog park and I wanted to show you how you can work on counter conditioning and attention games inside your car, staying warm on really cold days or bad weather days. And it's also a good warm up for your dog. So I'm gonna, as you can see, I have my co-pilot arrow here and we're gonna practice looking at dogs and eating some cheese. Okay, so you're gonna see me feed arrow for looking at dogs. We are parked right outside of the dog park. It's a cold, windy day, so we are working on some counter conditioning inside the car. There she goes. So I feed while she's looking at the dogs. This is called classical counter conditioning or Pavlovian conditioning. She has to see the dogs first and then start eating. That order is very important. So she sees the dog, then I feed. I either wait for the dog to go out of sight or I can encourage her to look away and I stop feeding. Again, we're pairing the sight of dogs with yummy food. That is classical conditioning. In addition to classical counter conditioning, we can also work on getting your dog to respond after they've seen the trigger. So she looks at the trigger. I ask her name or ask her to do something else. She responds correctly, I feed. So I'm just gonna wait, come here buddy. I'm gonna wait for her to look, look at something. Look away from me, look towards the trigger. Arrow, she looks at me, I feed her. So you're using your dog's triggers as a distraction. That's kind of what we're doing here. Hi, can you please look at something else? Arrow, good. So I just say her name, she looks, I feed. So we have a dog walking by the car and I'm feeding Arrow while she looks at it. Then I, I'm going to switch to Arrow saying her name and feeding her Arrow. Good girl. This is again, a really nice warm up step before you start working outside. Good job. Anytime your dog looks at their trigger and voluntarily looks back at you, you are going to feed that dog. We don't want to always have to micromanage the dog. If they learn, I look back at my person and get a reward, boy, is that really helpful. Arrow! And you can watch your dog's body language. If you see the ears go up or the, or the um, weight shift forward, that's when you want to interrupt and call your dog's name. All right, you did really well with that, buddy. He was really close. 